Hey guys, how's it going? We're back at it again. Your resident mixologist in training, Dom D, and always a diva. She's the one recording right now. We are gonna do something a little extra special today. We're gonna do kind of a, a tutorial how-to kind of thing to make sangria. Now this is gonna be um, a special sangria, one that I thought of when I thought of my mother, Aww. always a diva. So without further ado, we're gonna get to it. Got some tangerines, Asian pears, mango, pineapple, and a little something special right there. You know, he hooking it up. What's that? What's this? Orange juice? Lime uh, juice? Pineapple juice. Y'all don't need to know all that. Just know it's in there. We got some apricot and everything we need to get the sangria popping. Let's go. Okay, so your mixologist is putting me to work. Putting me to work. He got stuff he want me to do. Sorry about the thumb, y'all. Just to make sure we get him because he like is tall and I'm not so much. All right, cool. All right. So my job is to juice the tangerines. I think that's all he trusts me with right now. I don't want to make it all complicated, so we're just going <laughs> to start with that first. Because, to be honest, I don't even have a recipe for this down. It's very, very loosely created, all right? This is just the stuff that I knew I was going to have in it. Um, she's actually the one that's been well-versed in how to make sangria. She's made her own sangria a couple of times. Uh, it's been fantastic. It's been forever ago. This does not take after it. Her sangria is a dark sangria. Right. Um, I don't even know what fruit she has in it, but this is gonna be a light sangria. Um, and I thought of the uh, flavors. After asking her, I'm like, hey, what's your favorite flavors, blah, blah. And these are some of the things she says that she absolutely adores. I do, and I think it'll make a nice summer sangria. So I think that'll be nice, so I'm gonna just... <coughs> Fill my tangerines. What's wrong? You was in there too much? No, I'm working there. Back a little higher. Maybe that'll help. There we go. That won't fill up. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Yeah. And we're you're juicing all of these? Probably gonna need a backup pitcher. Might be too much. I mean, too much, too much liquid, so I'll fit in there. Just saying. Oh, you think okay. so? Yeah, I would just. I didn't know if this was gonna be large enough. Um, um, it, but it's perfect because I don't know whether I want to do um, the pineapple juice in it or not, uh -huh. or just have the pineapple. So, you know, the other one uh, with the pineapple juice, the other one without, exactly. which would be great. So. This is uh, I can go ahead and juice them all and be done with it. So. That'll be our backup. All right, so let's this here. Asian pears, if you've not seen one before, I have not seen one in person as far as I knew until I purchased these. Uh -huh. She apparently loves Asian pears, had no clue. Um, so, and also our special guests that you've seen before in a lot of the videos, <laughs> they also love Asian pears. I, don't really even know what it tastes like, but I will tell you they are really hard. They're great in salads. Oh yeah? Yeah. They're, They're really great hard. in salads. They stand up to uh, the dressing, um, depending on what kind of dressing you use. Really, really nice with like a little balsamic, uh, balsamic vinaigrette. Yummy. Um, and it's one of the pears that I use in the signature drink for Thanksgiving. Uh, a lot. <laughs> a lot of slices, yeah. Yeah, now, so, I'm bringing this a little closer. This is how big it is. Like, I, I, I do not have small hands, mm -hmm. all right? This fits entirely in my hand, my whole palm. I slice it, and this is how many slices I have out of it. I don't think I'll even need as many as I have to 
you know, just tossing that slices. Because in Sangria, and she can correct me if I'm wrong because I've never done this before, mm -hmm. um, it's customary to toss fruit into whatever pitcher it is and mm -hmm. let it sit with everything to marinate and mix Yeah, let and all the flavors together. marry together. Uh, extract some of the natural fruit juices from whatever fruit you're putting in there. Um, so yeah. So like I would typically make, um, prepare like my sangria about 24 hours before I want to, you know, drink it. I mean, of course you gotta taste it here and there, but uh, I would definitely do it at the bare minimum the night before, but 24 hours um, or more is better. Don't put any ice in it. Just your fruit and um, the whatever wine you elect in um, any juices. So, got the tangerines peeled. Trash bowl. Now we have our mangoes. This is gonna be the dirty part. Yeah. I'm getting ready to juice. So when you make your sangria, you have to know what kind of fruit you want to meld together to create a whole different other flavor that, you know, might wow you or your company or, or whatever have you. So um, we already went over the fruits that we have here, but you know, normal sangrias that I've, you know, had at restaurants or whatever, they might just do like a dark sangria, like a dark wine kind of thing with you know, orange slices, and I have some strawberries in it or something like that. Just, you know, fruits that would generally meld together. Now, if you ever get um, the chance to purchase the beverage book that I am compiling, I will have its own section on how to um, find fruits, vegetables, spices, and nuts that pair together. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know whether I'm gonna do like a big matrix or something or list out every fruit and what it pairs with or whatever, but something like that I'll do. If that information is hard to find, I, I, I tell you, cause like, you know, it does, you can't just go to one website and believe that, oh, yeah. they're going to have everything I need, you know, especially if you want to go to the next level, like we, tend to try to do um you're going to want to look for exotic fruits or whatever and a lot of times exotic fruits are not in those so uh, i'm doing the research for you i'm going to compile it for you and all you have to do is purchase it and when all else fails just you know make sure you have If I'm making a white sangria, it's white or yellow fruits, lighter fruits. Um, red sangria, you can go with your deeper, darker berries, um, things like that. Apples work really well in like, a uh, white sangria. Um, peaches, nectarines, things like that. Stone fruit. Um, and I don't even need both of those. And then on the other side of that, you can use like plums uh, for your red sangria. So I am going to attempt to juice the pulp a little bit more. Try to get as much juice out of there as I can. Um, and then the only other aspect of making a sangria is making sure you have enough of wines, number one. And number two, um, I don't know if a lot of other people, or restaurants, or whatever does this, mm -hmm. but they add, they might add other liquor into this. Okay, I do. she does it, this is what I got it from, so I did not find it anywhere else. I'm not saying everyone does that, but we are doing that now. Um, so this here is Asian pear infused white rum, okay? This was white, I know it looks super dark now, but that, oh. that's all the colors it got from the Asian pear. And it pulled off all that flavor. The Asian pear isn't even that dark, it is, is interesting. But so it, it pulled out a lot. I didn't think it would be enough time to infuse, but I smelled it. It smelled super hairy. I, I think I would want to try a little bit of that by itself. Yeah, yeah, same. I, I, I didn't try it. because You like, did it? No, I was like, I, I want to make try sure it that, you know, like, let it sit as much as possible. Um, this is also one of the fruits I have not found actual information on how long I should infuse it for. 
So I wonder if that means like it's rarely if ever used for an infusion. Maybe. Maybe. Then I got these, so we can go taste shots. I don't know, right? So random. Um, Sorry, y'all can't see the slices. I'm just handed, so. <laughs> Believe me, they're not as cute as Dom's. I mean, I messed up on the couple of them, so that, um, this was in the way anyway, so it smells weird. Whew, it smells strong. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't believe it went from white to mm, cloudy. Oh yeah, that tastes like pear. Yes, it does. I, I, I guess that's what an Asian pear tastes like, but it's not even like, there's no burn to it or anything like that. No. I think the Asian pear kind of just takes that away or maybe. And I, it's I like, it's like a, it's not like a Bartlett pear, because that's usually that there, that or like a Bosch pear where people normally eat. It's like a, it's like a more sophisticated pear. It's smoother. Yeah. More sophisticated. Yeah. Now this was two cups, and I don't, the left me, I can't find theirs. I wonder if it happens. I wonder how much it, it is now. How much juice pulled out of the pear? There's gonna be more than two cups. No, I think it's gonna be less. Like the pear is absorbed so it. Did, yeah. And then these pears are going in. Oh, oh, oh just oh. about to exact. Oh, wow. okay. And these pears are gonna go in as well, or not? Um, or are you, are you gonna say we'll do something else with that? I don't know. I didn't think about what I was gonna do with it. I, mm -hmm. I was like, eh, I'll just eat them. I don't know. But like, I don't know. They're, you can freeze them and be like a little an snack. What is it? An alcoholic snack? Yeah. It know, almost so, looks like summer day? the rum burned it. It right? does look looks like it. Looks kind of weird, right? Look, look. Like an it's acid like burn or something like that. Kind of burned. That's interesting. Well, I, I haven't seen that before. So. Hoping that like some chemical reaction and it's not hey. good for us. If y'all see another video, y'all know why. <laughs> and so you put a cup in there. Yeah, putting a cup in each. It look promising. All right, so we got a cup in each. I know this one looks like there's more because of the shape. All right, so there's that. Um, still babying a half shot. I'm a lady. Here we go with that again. All right. I'll let you do this because I'm not oh, Dom. well versed in that. I, I know you want to show up for the people. I here. don't want to show up. Now this here is literally just a bottle of white wine, a white wine, excuse me, semi-sweet. I didn't want to get sweet on sweet and sweet and then like it'd be too overpowering. Mm -hmm. So this is semi-sweet. That's a sweet Riesling. So we're hoping that that'll bring up the sweetness as well as yeah. the fruit and then it'll be perfect level sweetness. Um, we don't want it syrupy or anything like that. You still want a crisp little drink. Alright, so, um, like I said in the beginning, I didn't know what I was going to do specifically for some of this stuff. Um, in the beginning, we wanted to do an apricot wine. Uh, we weren't prepared. Yeah, when so, he says we, he meant me. I didn't double check the stock. I had everything but apricot. But we do have apricot nectar, so I'm sure this will be enough of a, you know, Probably should what do you mean it shouldn't get destroyed? What do you mean? The, 
just sliced it. It got like, it just broke apart. It, what, the tape, the made it made it yeah. it's, it's fine. It's same. I know, I'm just saying, like, we should have thought. Well, you actually did. You were like, oh, we might need a third one. I was like, oh, I don't think so. And then, um, obviously, I'm looking foolish. No, you're looking like this is the first time you made a Korea. Where my clown nose at, guys? <laughs> So these two will not have the additional pineapple juice. Now, this might look weird, but all this is getting mixed anyways. So that's the only reason why I'm doing this. Well, no. All right, guys, and here it is. Um, obviously, I'm gonna have to play with the recipe because uh, this looks like there's a lot of stuff here. It's really not. But, it's really not. Um, but this is enough sangria to uh, host a small little party, small little gift gathering. Small gathered. little gathering, yeah. So um, here it is. I, we don't have a name for it either, so that could be up to you guys. <laughs> I've been thinking about a name, we still have not come up with any of it, but here it is. It's gonna be our light sangria. Hopefully it tastes as amazing as it looks. Oh, it looks really so good. So how about you guys tell us what you think what it looks like, if it's gonna be good, if not, whatever. It's been sitting for, I don't know, 12, maybe 14 hours, maybe past that now, but long enough for everything to melt together. So let's see how this turns out. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's Diva approved right there. Diva approved. All right, all right. How about this name then? The Diva Sangria. Diva Sangria. What you think? What you think? I think it's a yes. Okay, I think all right. It's a heck yes. Here you guys go. You heard it here first. Approved Diva Sangria.